Hey, Scott. I know it's coming. And I know it's going to be soon. Because <laughs> he's, he's a good guy. So what am I supposed That's to do? perfect. Like this? Because the camera loves me. We need to do an intervention tonight, and that's why you're here. Okay? You always want to have the people that love you the most in the room. I, I know that he's been living with a piece of his life hidden from the world. I have this beagle who is going to have seven puppies any day now, and I think Scott's going to die from the puppies. For all of Scott, he's great. He's always a front, you know. I love his white shoes. Scott, we are here on a lovely Tuesday afternoon where we all have other things to do, yet we're taking the time to talk about your bucks. It's the ugliest damn shoes on planet Earth, and it is a solid, definite connection if you do that for the other team. Uh, I'm a gay man, and um, I think Scott's gayer than I am, and he's literally married. My simple advice to you is, get rid of your gay ass shoes. So, yeah, that's, that's our Scotty. Mm -hmm. But Scott is a Yeah, he's a different. Well done. <laughs> I don't really want to see him. <laughs> I hate the white shoes. These shoes inspire. I have uh, I've really worked at accepting the shoes. And after a period of time, they have begun to grow on me. It's sort of like a... Kind of like the uh, love boat party from the Vikings when they got in trouble on the lake last year. You know, it's something along those lines. But, uh, fungus or a bacterial infection growing, I think. Uh, that's about all I can say about it. I think everybody realizes there's some kind of threshold for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Scott does it with. Some people we don't go there talk about that. You know, to me, these are Scott's little statement of, uh, well, I can't wear a white powdered wig, but I can sure wear the white bucks. Some people shouldn't talk about that. What are you thinking? What are you thinking with these shoes, Scott? As long as I keep your clothes on, I think that's probably my sister. Maybe I put them on. I remember, I remember the first time that I met Scott. Ooh! And he was wearing this um, moose print fleece sweater. And um, I believe he was wearing khaki pants that were about two inches too short. And I'm trying to put a stop to it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? I don't really care if they're in style. That's when I saw the most beautiful white shoes that I've ever seen. I don't care. <laughs> Who has them? <laughs> if they're falling out of the asses of the Tiffany's model. Oh, I hadn't really considered that. There's something very, very wrong about those shoes. And people used to make fun of Scott for if you dress something different, not on time, wearing his pants too short. Of course, that sounds kind of Republican, and I can do that to Scott. <laughs> The shoes don't get lost. You get to see all the shoes. I'm usually more inspired by shoes. Um, they're beautiful. I can't believe I get the whole one. And I know you're very image conscious. About Scott, the... Yeah, is it time I can wear my summer four war? Hideous. Uh, it just, honestly, it wouldn't be summer unless Scott wore the white bucks. The mall walkers talk about it. We all love to see him get this out, and of course we... Obviously, the people in the management team talk about it. Uh, the change of seasons here at the mall at Green Hills, and we all look forward to him <laughs> getting these out of re retirement. Jill, you gotta do something about this boy. And I know things are going good now. 
Yeah, you know, I was so happy for Scott when he came out with the bus. I don't know, you're always worried about that borderline gay thing, okay? This really, really pushes you over to the side you don't want to be on. You know he's on your side, but the rest of us all think he's on Hank's side. It's very cool. <laughs> Hank believes in all contact sports should be played in the league, from what I understand. So, <laughs> just thinking that. Regular women, I know you don't care about regular women, but I've talked to your wife. Okay. Oh, Scott Shoes. You are just not built for those shoes. I don't know anybody that's built for those shoes because they're so glaringly disgusting. And in some areas of the world, protests are held to shame those who make such fashion choices. I don't pay attention to what I on. The primary object of the intervention is for the person to realize that they need help. And you need some help. <laughs> yeah, um, wow, family sickness. So we're lucky to be in Nashville where people's choices are tolerated and maybe, just maybe Scott is leading the way for other white bucks to be brought out of the closet. I used to think Scott was gay and um, until I saw him in his shoes and that's when I knew there was just, there was no way in hell. And I also just want to say that I think it's part of the reason why he's able to come out about this is a reflection of the people that he works with in the office. And it has to stop. It has to stop today. If you're not willing to do that, I can't answer the phone anymore.